Hello race fans and welcome to the RMS Racing Group. Uh, we're here today with the IndyCar GP Series. This is their uh, first season and round number one. Uh, they're at the Autodromo Enzo Edino Ferrari, also known as Imola. Uh, the guys have just finished qualifying and uh, before we head on out there, we're going to take a look at the uh, standings and also the, uh, the uh, weather conditions here. Uh, 78 degrees uh, air temperature, uh, winds are gusting at 4 miles an hour. Track temperature is uh, 101 degrees and uh, they're racing on a 3.02 mile uh, track today. Uh, pretty low uh, altitude, only 137 feet above uh, sea level. And before we uh, head down to the track, we're going to uh, take a look at the uh, starting lineup here. On the pole, you have Jaron Haslam, uh, Michael McCoy is starting second, Doug Doucette is starting third, uh, and fourth we have Justin Sullivan, uh, Troy Banks is uh, slotted in fifth position, and Tony Rice is starting in sixth position. I'm waiting for the guys to, uh, everyone to join the track now. Looks like everybody's on track. I'm waiting for the lights to go out here. And we're racing here at Imola. Going to town. Oh, Doucette spinning. There's uh, Doucette spinning. It looks like... Uh, him and McCoy are in the grass there. They're getting uh, get them turned around and get going again. McCoy, he's ahead of Doucette. Shake the dust off and get going once again. Catch up to the pack. Jerem Haslam did get off uh, to a good start there. Over half a second almost to Sullivan. Uh, Sullivan has caught up uh, quite quickly, though. Is uh, it was at, for a minute there he was less than half a second. This is a 25 lap uh, race, um, but also has a 50 minute time limit, uh, depending on uh, how long uh, it takes them. Oh, Sullivan gets a little shaky there, coming through the chicane. That gives Haslam a little breathing room. They both have pulled away from the rest of the field so far. Haslam uh, over a second and a half uh, behind uh, third place Tony Rice. As Rice started uh, P6 and because uh, of the spins by Doucette and the McCoy found himself up there in the top three. You said it's starting to close, however. Well, that first lap went by fast. We're already on lap two. Doesn't take very long to get around here. Although it, it's a fairly uh, decent uh, sized track. We said over three miles in length. You said he did get uh, behind McCoy. McCoy is still running. He's uh, not sure. Uh, he's uh, might have. I don't know if he had another off or not. But uh, he definitely lost a lot of ground to uh, uh, Doug Doucette there. And Troy Banks is showing out. I don't know if he had some kind of technical problem, but uh, he did not. Uh, I thought it, it showed that he was on the starting grid, but for whatever reason, he. Uh, uh, is is uh, put the car behind the wall. Meanwhile, up the front here, uh, Haslam he continues to lead. He's pulling away from Sullivan there over three seconds now. And Sullivan he's motoring along and he's uh, he's pulling away from Rice now just about five seconds ahead of the 64 car. At the moment, Rice is still in uh, third, but here comes uh, Doug Doucette. He's less than uh, two seconds away now from the 64. And the 
McCoy is still running. The set closes up on the back of the 64 very quickly. Taking a look on the outside there. Looks like he might attempt to pass here. They're side by side. And just that makes a clean pass. Picks up the third position. Oh, he's trying to hold on to Doucette there. He is starting to pull away a bit. Here comes that tricky uh, chicane here, that tricky right left hand chicane. Like other leagues that uh, that you have seen uh, on our broadcast, you know uh, this is also open setup as well. And very well that uh, the set's running a, a different uh, aero package uh, than the 64 car. Let's see, and, and that was Sean McCoy in the pits. Not sure what's going on. He's uh, on pit road. Doesn't appear to have any damage. But for the moment, uh, Michael McCoy is showing on pit road. Meanwhile, Haslam continues to lead. Opened up over a five-second gap to Sullivan. Now on lap four of 25. And the drivers, they, they uh, probably have enough fuel on board to uh, do the entire race, but uh, they do have to stop at least once to, to change compound tires. They have uh, both the, uh, the black and the uh, red compound tires uh, in the IndyCar series. And uh, to simulate that change, uh, they don't actually have the two different uh, color striped tires in the sim, but to simulate that change, uh, they do have a, a one required pit stop. Haslam uh, completes lap five, maintaining a good, healthy uh, five-second lead over uh, Sullivan. Sullivan's just about equally spaced uh, from Doug Doucette. There's Doucette. We just saw him in the back of the picture there. He is starting to close in on Sullivan just under five seconds now. Right now, this appears to be a race. Haslam, he's definitely pulling out ahead of Sullivan. Rice is falling behind uh, quite rapidly from uh, Doucette. Uh, right now, the battle seems to be between uh, Doucette and Sullivan. Doucette's now within four seconds. Oh, no, and Doucette spins around. He had a good gap on Rice, so it did not cost him a position, but it did cost him a lot of time to Sullivan. Over eight seconds now. And, oh, he's round again. Problems for Doug Doucette. He did not hit anything. And Rice just did go by him. Oh, unbelievable. I don't know what's happening with Doucette. But I'm sure those tires are up to uh, temperature. Doug now is going to get going in, in the 65 machine and uh, get that car settled down. And uh, now he's got 11 seconds to catch up to Rice. Rice now back to third, but he's far behind Sullivan and, and the leader Haslam, uh, over 16 seconds. And uh, 
Once again, Doucette is closing in. It's going to probably take a lap or two to catch him, but uh, he probably will catch the 64. Sullivan's continuing to go along here. And uh, we're actually showing Michael McCoy has retired his car. That's, uh, that's uh, unfortunate for McCoy there. Haslam lead has now grown to over seven seconds. And so far, Rice is, uh, well, I'm, apparently, I don't know, Doucette spun again. Uh, it looked like he was about nine seconds behind, and now he's, uh, showing, uh, 15 seconds, uh, so Doug may be having some problems getting those tires to hook up to the course. Trying to whittle away at that 14 sec uh, second gap uh, to the 64 machine. Sullivan continues to inch away from Rice, and just as I say it, it goes down just a hair. It was 18.5, now 18. Oh, and Rice is into the wall. Overcooked that turn. That's not going to help the situation. That's going to help uh, Doucette a little bit, and, but it definitely uh, opened the gap between uh, him and Sullivan. Um, in this, this series, they're running uh, with damage off so that they can uh, continue to run here. Otherwise, that definitely would have cost him a, a nose cone for sure, or at least the front wings. He's set now just under 10 seconds behind the 64 car. Your leader, Jerem Haslam, continues to uh, pull away slightly. He, uh, he's now actually only seven seconds uh, behind, uh, I mean, ahead of Sullivan. We're now showing uh, lap eight of 25. Sullivan is starting, he, once again, he's losing a little ground to uh, Jaron Haslam. Now a little over eight seconds. Rice is uh, over 23 behind uh, second place Sullivan. said he has started to uh, close in again. Oh, and now we're showing Sullivan's in the pits. He's deciding now on lap nine to come in, uh, I guess, for his uh, mandatory pit stop. Now, you do have a 20 incident limit where you'd have to come in for a stop and go, but I do not recall seeing Sullivan going off at all anywhere. So Sullivan's in the pits. And there goes Rice into uh, second position. Doucette also goes by. Sullivan's now down and away, so that was his uh, required uh, pit stop got the, out of the way here. Oh, and Sullivan goes around a little bit there on those cold tires. He has to get going now because Haslam, uh, you see in the track map there, he's coming around the double uh, left-hander there 
to the front stretch. He doesn't want to get caught by the leader there and lose a lap. Hassan, he has not start. He has not stopped yet uh, for his required uh, pit stop. Still continues to lead. Tony Rice is under attack now once again from uh, Doug Doucette. Rice takes a little wide there, cuts a little grass. Doucette looking for a way around. And they cross the start finish line. Uh, Doucette is in uh, second position again. Rice fighting down to the first turn. And they go through side by side. Oh, and Rice uh, overcooks it a little bit there. Goes sideways. Doesn't hit anything. And she's getting back on the track get going. Sullivan's 24 seconds behind. Doug Doucette now uh, running second and has a, a 37 seconds uh, behind Haslam. With that, with that type of a gap, Haslam could easily come in for his tire change and uh, get out without uh, fear of losing the lead unless he has some problems. But uh, we haven't really seen him put a wheel wrong yet in the race. There's Sullivan. Haslam, uh, he's gotten away from Haslam a little bit now. He's only uh, he's 28 seconds uh, behind Sullivan. Has, uh, if, if Sullivan can keep this pace up, uh, when Haslam does pit, that will give him some uh, breathing room, being as he already has his uh, uh, required pit stop uh, in the books here. Gradually catching up to uh, the 64, Tony Rice. Rice currently in third. Both drivers in front and behind him are at the 13 second gap. 14 now behind Doucette and now 12, uh, just over 12 uh, ahead of Sullivan. We're now in lap 12 of 25, just pretty much at the halfway point of this race. And Rice still has to stop for his uh, required pit stop. Sullivan has already stopped. Uh, Doucette has not stopped. And uh, Haslam has not stopped. So barring, barring anybody uh, having uh, any uh, unwanted off-track excursions, now here goes Doucette into the pits for his required uh, tire change. And Rice, he's uh, almost 60 seconds behind, almost a full minute. Uh, he'll definitely, Doucette should definitely get, uh, get out of the uh, pits before Rice gets there. I'm sorry, I was looking at that wrong. It's showing 50-some seconds. But Rice actually uh, uh, leapfrog into second position. That slow crawl down pit road until you can get going once again. Let's see how he gets out of the pits this time. set seems cleanly away this time and your, your leader Jaron Haslam is into the uh, pits where is our required pit stop now they may have some fuel strategy also they may not be running uh, enough to make it to the end of the race
Axlum comes to a stop for servicing. On his way back out now. He continues to lead. Rice almost a full minute behind, currently uh, second position. And Rice is uh, Sullivan's nine seconds behind. He's set currently uh, actually in the uh, fourth position here. So Jaron Haslam has stopped, Sullivan has stopped, and Doucette has stopped. Uh, Rice is the only one that still has to stop. And he's eight seconds ahead of Sullivan, and Doucette is not a whole lot further behind, so he'll probably rotate back to fourth position, barring any uh, unwanted spins by other drivers. Now 13 laps of uh, 25 complete. Set trying to catch Sullivan there. Uh, Sullivan slowly, well, he, he was wheeling, uh, reeling Rice in and got a little hard into that turn there. Lost a few tenths to uh, 64. Do said he is uh, slowly trying to wind in the 762 machine. They're all, both Rice, all Rice, Sullivan, and uh, Doucette are all on the front stretch. Rice going into that first chicane. Uh, Sullivan doesn't have view of him just yet. But uh, he's just under seven. There's Rice in the distance. And behind Sullivan, uh, Doucette is only four seconds back. There's Doucette. You just see him now coming around that turn. So everybody's chasing everybody uh, pretty hard here. Rice making his way through the back section of the course, coming down to that uh, tricky chicane there. Tricky right left hander. While Haslam, your leader, he's uh, over 22 seconds ahead of Rice, leading comfortably. He's got his uh, pit stops in. We're now 15 laps, only 10 laps to go in this event. And there's Sullivan. You see Sullivan and Doucette behind Rice there. Oh, and Rice takes a little long way around that turn. That's not going to help him uh, stay ahead of Sullivan. Sullivan now less than three seconds behind. And Sullivan also has Doucette to worry about as well. It's always interesting when you're chasing a guy and you're being chased yourself. Now I may I may have to stand corrected here. I thought the uh, the uh, damage was off in the uh, series, but that looks like uh, front wing damage on Sullivan's car. Locking up the brakes a little bit. Rice had a little problem going through there as well. Boy, all three of these guys are getting close together here. Not sure what's going to happen.
Solomon locking up those brakes, glowing cherry red there. Coming across the start, lap 17 here. Doucette is starting to close in as well. Drag race down to turn one. Sullivan's taking a look. Not quite close enough to pull off the pass just, let, just yet. And Doucette has caught Sullivan. A huge three-way battle here, folks. Trying to find a way around the 64 car. Oh, and Rice goes wide, and they almost collect Sullivan. Opens the door for Doucette. They're cleanly through. Oh, and Doucette goes around. Oh, no. Doug Doucette has been struggling with some of these turns all race long. Such a shame. That have to start all over again. We still have, uh, we're only at lap 16, so there's still time to, to catch back up again. Now we're showing Haslam. I'm not sure he's having some connection issues. The system thinks he's out of the race, but he is still running. His car is just blinking in a bit. Rice once again in a P3 position there. Within a second of the 7.62 of uh, Sullivan. Doucette is uh, just over six seconds behind. Oh, and Doug Doucette losing part of his body panel. Heavy damage on the car. Oh, heavy damage on the 65 machine. That's just going to really, uh, he's going to have his work cut out now. That's an unnecessary, uh, uh, well, I would say unwanted pit stop, of course. And they, I believe they have unlimited uh, fast repairs. But just the time that it's going to take to... Uh, just to come in and just have to go again and, and get going. I mean, his car all fixed brand new. Haslam now is uh, less than a minute uh, behind. Rice is almost over 50 seconds ahead of Doucette. Of course, Rice still has to stop. Hoping that Doug can just keep the car on the road. This track is uh, can be pretty unforgiving sometimes. And it has not been kind to uh, Doug Doucette today. While Haslam, he continues to lead. Just over 31 seconds ahead of uh, Sullivan now. Sullivan, he's comfortably in uh, second position, 31 behind Haslam, but uh, just 17 seconds now ahead of Rice, who still has to stop for his uh, mandatory pit stop. We're at lap 18 of 25. Oh, and uh, just as I say that, here, here comes uh, the 64 into the pits. He's just over 51 seconds ahead of Doucette. That's obviously going to, by the time he gets out, I would guess maybe around 20 seconds or so ahead of uh, the 65 car. When Rice had damage as well. Hit something somewhere along the way. Waiting for fuel to go on board. Now he's down and away. And I believe Doucette just went past. Doucette went past. He's now in the third uh, position. Rice just making his way out of uh, pit road there. Doug Doucette now trying to, uh, well, he's quite a ways behind Sullivan. Over 51 seconds here. If we were to look at the gap here, uh, Rice he actually got past uh, not just Sol uh, Doucette, but uh, the leader also passed him. So Rice is showing a lap down in fourth position. 
Doucette's a minute 25 behind Sullivan, 32 seconds behind uh, Haslam. We're at lap 19, and Doucette is going slowly. Not sure what the problem is. Maybe trying to get something, uh, some settings on this car adjusted, trying to help with the handling. But having all kinds of problems uh, getting those tires to hook up today. If it wasn't for that, I, I would be pretty sure he would have uh, caught Sullivan and who knows, maybe even uh, uh, Jaron Haslam. But now we're just over five laps to go in this event. He is uh, on the podium at P3. Uh, Doug Doucette, I believe, uh, yeah, there's your leader, Darren Haslam. He's having some connection issues, popping in and out, but he's there. So Doucette looks like he might go a lap down here, probably due to a lot of the unfortunate uh, offset he's had today. We'll see if we can ride along with uh, Haslam here. He's, if this car pops out, then we'll we'll lose it all of a sudden. And hopefully, we can uh, stay on board here. Now, lap 20 or 25. Oh, and it ran just a little wide there. We're going to jump to Doucette because uh, Haslam is uh, jumping in and out of there a little bit. Let's see if we can, uh, let's look at some uh, sector times here. See, let's. Yeah, uh, we're, actually, I was trying to compare between uh, Haslam and uh, Doucette, but I don't think that's going to let me. It, it only compares between the uh, uh, whatever car and the car that's directly behind him. So it's comparing uh, to uh, Haslam to Sullivan. We'll go ahead and bring up our regular graphics here. Oh, what could have been? Uh, Haslam isn't quite able to get around uh, Doucette as it is. Of course, it's not really doing him any good right now because he's on the tail end of uh, the lead lap. Just over four laps to go in this event. Sullivan continues to have some uh, connection instability there. Fortunately, he has not lost contact with the server altogether, which is another peril of uh, online racing. You can be uh, leading the, the race flag to flag, and if the connection uh, goes away, then it's, there's just nothing that anyone can do. That can be probably one of the most frustrating things for a driver uh, in online racing. It's wonderful technology, but it's not exactly bulletproof. I'll take a look back here at Sullivan. He's running a, a second position. Well behind uh, Haslam, though. And with uh, three laps to go, uh, his op obviously has a good chance to uh, cruise uh, to a finish. All cars have uh, made their required pit stops. A couple had a few extra stops, unfortunately. Sullivan is showing a little, still showing some damage on that, that right front uh, spoiler there. The tire uh, appears to be okay, though nothing in the suspension seems to be knocked in.
Royce, he continues to motor along. He's the, the final car running uh, right now. Uh, McCoy and Banks are uh, retired early in the event. So uh, at this point, uh, he would have a, uh, obviously uh, had the fourth position uh, pretty much locked up. <laughs> no danger there <laughs> of uh, falling further behind. And Sullivan is 15 seconds behind Rice. And we're at two laps to go. Uh, probably won't be able to catch him. He's right between the uh, first and second place cars. Haslam 27 ahead. Sullivan 14 behind. There's your leader, Jaron Haslam. He's still chasing Doug Doucette, and uh, he may not really be trying to put Doucette. Uh, Doucette is already one lap down, so there's really no point for him to put himself in a bad position to try to pass him. So he may be just uh, cruising along here. Just about to start the penultimate lap here. Well within the time limit, so that that won't be any uh, issue there. Across the line, it will be lap uh, 24 of 25. Should be seeing the white flag next time around. Set seems to have that car going pretty good. Or oh, just as I say that, a little wobble coming out of that turn. But he seems to have a little bit better uh, control of those tires now. The track temperature was over 100. I believe it was 101 degrees. But uh, he's probably wishing for a little bit more heat in those tires. Sullivan continues to go along here. Rice still ahead, uh, just over 11 seconds. Oh, and he's running a little wide there. But he is, he's comfortably in uh, second position. No pressure at all from uh, Doucette, over 40 seconds behind. We've got that white flag in the air for Jaron Haslam. I'm pretty sure he's content to, to ride behind the 64 car, I mean, sorry, the 65 car of uh, Doug Doucette there on this final lap. We're making our way down the, the back section of the course. Here we go to that tricky uh, right-left-hander. Getting it just right. Hit those uh, rumble strips just right without upsetting the car. And we come around to the start finish line. Jaron Haslam is your winner. And we do set, they hustle around the track now back to the uh, start finish line or at least on the front stretch somewhere probably uh, for the, uh, the finish.
finishing photos. There's Sullivan. Stopping there, uh, there's Rice, he's already uh, lying there. Rice took it to the pits. Uh, I think we're gonna have the top three line up here uh, for a uh, finish here. There's Haslam coming around. Uh, both him and Doucette. Sullivan, he's down there uh, waiting for the uh, for everybody to come around. I guess Sullivan took off. I guess he thought uh, <laughs> they were gonna that he had to go back around. Now he's gonna have to go all the way around the track here to uh, get with the uh, the other two podium finishers. Jaron Haslam there, and that looks like uh, I mean, yeah, do said he's backing up there. And Sullivan's making his way around. comes to join the uh, other two podium finishers here. And uh, your, uh, your finishing uh, order here, Jaron Haslam, Justin Sullivan, Doug Doucette, Tony Rice, uh, Michael McCoy, and Troy Banks uh, for the uh, round one here complete. Darren Haslam will come away uh, your points leader in the event. And uh, Justin Sullivan is uh, second. Doug Doucette third, Tony Rice fourth, McC uh, McCoy and Banks uh, fifth and sixth. So, so they'll have a little work to do to, to catch up here. And we'd like to thank you all for uh, checking us out today at the RMS Racing Group IndyCar GP Series, their inaugural race here at uh, Imola. If you enjoyed the broadcast, please uh, like, share, and subscribe so that you'll know the next time uh, we go live. For all of us here at the Rice Motorsports TV, we wanna wish you a pleasant evening.